All right, I tried to do a little bit of yard work. I was telling you that when we, we uh -huh. walked into work together. Yes. Oh, my goodness, I lasted for probably 10 minutes. I was like, <laughs> nah, not doing it today. Sure. So hot outside. Yeah. You know, a little hard work never hurt anybody, okay. but, I, but I say, why well, take the chance? <laughs> and I did just a little, so there, there we go. go. There you go. Huh? <laughs> okay, well, yeah, if you're going to be doing some yard work outside the next few days. Yeah. <laughs> Do it at night yeah. with a flashlight. Put some lights on. Yeah. Quite like the folks behind you were baling hay at yeah, night. Yeah, they so. were. They were baling hay at midnight. What? Yes, last night. So anything to keep cool right now. Hey, things that, <laughs> things yeah. that happen in the rural parts of East yeah. Texas yeah. Is, is definitely for sure. Would yeah. you trade it for anything? That's right. Yeah. Certainly was still hot today, no doubt about it. And temperatures are going to warm up a bit more over the next few afternoons. I think we're going to add maybe another degree or two on these high temperatures for the rest of this week as rain chances become slim to none and the upper ridge of high pressure begins to build back in 95 this afternoon in Longview that comes up to one of our warmest days of the year so far. Remember last week Tyler reached its warmest day at 96. Today we were at 94. Lufkin has not went above 94 so far this summer so still holding at about 94 there. 96 over Springs 96 in Linden this afternoon 93 today in Mount Pleasant and in Gilmer. Right now, we do have a few high clouds that are passing through. Going to look for some low clouds to return into tomorrow morning. So at times, we will start with a mostly to even a mainly cloudy sky as we begin the day on Wednesday, but still rather warm. We do have a light southerly wind that will turn to the southwest into tomorrow morning. Let's talk about this heat a little bit more. What it's going to feel like. This is why it's so important to give yourself frequent breaks when you are outside. And also, if you're taking your four-legged friends out as well, well, we'll make sure that they're also going to be in some ample shade and they have plenty of water too. This is the afternoon projected heat index will be up to about 105 in most spots. A couple of areas could get as hot as about 106 to 107 as what it will feel like into the afternoon. Right now, we don't have any heat advisories in play for tomorrow, but you get the idea that it's still going to remain very warm here in East Texas. As a matter of fact, the actual air temperature, pretty much a carbon copy of what we had today. Again, maybe a couple of spots might rise another degree. 95 sold for Springs tomorrow. Athens and Palestine at about 94. 96 in Hemphill for tomorrow afternoon. Mineola at about 95. Nacogdoches and Jacksonville both at a temperature of 94. So the upper ridge is going to continue to build back in. That is as uh, the remains of Barry continue to weaken and move across to the eastern part of the United States. Now, the upper high is going to get the strongest as we get toward Thursday and Friday. So our temperatures rise up to about 95 to maybe 97 degrees. But the high does not look to be very strong. As a matter of fact, it's going to start to push to the west as we get toward the weekend. Whenever it starts to retreat to that west, we have to watch for maybe another front or a northerly system that might try to come in. And here's a front that we're going to watch for as we get toward late weekend and early next week. By Monday, we could be looking at this next cold front to come in and could produce maybe a few showers and thunderstorms. But the bigger story to know is that as this high tries to build in, it gets shoved away once again. This is exactly what happened last week. So it's keeping us away from the upper 90s and near that 100 degree mark and we're going to have to keep an eye on things on how tr things try to trend out as we get toward the end of July. The seven day forecast. Well, it is still hot for us. Temperatures are just a few degrees above average from where we should be. There's our mid 90s Thursday into Friday. We'll come down a couple of degrees as more clouds build in for the weekend. Now there is an early shower chance on Sunday in deep East Texas, but then Monday and Tuesday we will watch for that front and it could give us a north Northeast wind and some slightly lower humidity for us. Here's deep east Texas 94 tomorrow. There could be a stray shower tomorrow afternoon. Can't even rule it out any single day of the next seven, but otherwise it will be hot for us and the overnight lows very humid in the mid 70s. All right, then looking forward to that weak cool front that may yes. happen. Uh, okay, thank cool. you, Marcus. Yes. Sports right now.